In this video, I'm gonna be sharing three details sa inyo na ang isang lalaki at ang isang babae need to work on. Okay? This video is gonna be about physical needs, mental needs, emotional needs, okay, psychological need, but this isn't about spiritual needs. Okay? Because I believe I have made, you know, a lot of videos about that one. So, then again, uh, let's get started. Oh yeah, by the way, before pala we get started, okay, may I just remind you po na ang dislike ratio dito po sa website na ito is, well, nakahide na po siya sa public. Okay, kaya po kung meron kayong positive feedback or negative feedback, wag na wag po kayong mag-hesitate to comment down below. Okay, para alam din po ng other viewers na ay okay tong video na to, ay wala, peke ito, scam ito, ay tong video na to okay ito. Eh, dinisable ng site na to yung ganong klaseng uh, feature, kaya ngayon, eh, nahihirapan yung mga viewers and subscribers to know, alam ba to legit ba to or not. Okay, so again, kung meron po kayong positive or negative feedback, wag po kayong mag-hesitate. Kasi po, ang dislike ratio ngayon is naka-private na siya. Only sa content creator, sa, sa akin lang mismo, ako lang yung nakakaalam kung gaano karami yung dislikes or likes ratio. Nandiyan pa yung likes, pero yung dislikes ratio is na uh, ka-disable na. So again, I highly recommend kung may positive or negative feedback, wag na wag po kayong mag-hesitate to comment down below. And I would be hearing your feedbacks, okay? Especially dito sa site na ito. Okay, so let's get started with the topic. Okay, three things na isang lalaki need to work on. Number one is bataan, money, and power. Okay, these are the three things or physical needs or mental needs ng isang lalaki. Because ang isang lalaki, if you're not working on this area, okay, or these needs, series of needs, you're gonna feel bad sa sarili mo. Okay, when I say bataan, I'm not talking about the face na bataan. Okay, I'm I'm not allowed to say, I mean, certain words dito sa site na tao. Magdidilaw yung mga videos ko. Okay, ang isang lalaki, you need to have yung bataan, money, and power. Okay, if you're not getting this, if you're not working on this, you're gonna feel bad sa sarili mo. You may have the uh, most attractive na wife in the world, most attractive girlfriend in the world, but if you lack these, if you lack these three traits or three needs, you're gonna feel bad sa sarili mo. Okay, you are gonna feel bad sa sarili mo, long term. Okay, sa babae naman, it's, it's different. Okay, sa babae, it's different. It's peak happiness, peak emotional satisfaction, and family. Ang isang babae, you can have the uh, uh, millions in the bank. You can have career, di ba? You can, have, yeah, you can be the CEO. But if you're not complying with these three needs, you're gonna feel bad sa sarili mo, long term. Okay, so then again, okay, bilang isang babae, okay, work on these three areas. Okay, you have the opportunity to work on these. Okay, para alam mo, because ang daming mga libro na nagtuturo sa mga babae na, oh, dapat ganito, work on this, work on that. So, ang dami. So, isummarize na lang natin sa tatlo, because ang mga babae, they are emotional human beings. Emotions is what makes ang mga babae tech. On the other hand, mas mga lalaki, we are analytical human beings. We crave masculinity. We should crave power. Hence, eto. Okay, pag ang isang lalaki, you're not working on these three areas, you're gonna feel bad sa sarili mo. Okay, and you don't even know why. Okay, so again, needs ng isang lalaki, bataan, and working on your money, and working on your power. Okay, if you work on your money, pwedeng career, okay, pwedeng career, 9 to 5 job, or pwedeng business. Okay, pag sinabi naman power, okay, pwedeng uh, position in your career or in your business, you're a CEO, you're a business owner, pwede naman ganyan. Okay, sa babae naman, halimbawa ganito, uh, peak happiness. Sa, sa nakukuha na isang babae ang peak happiness, or let's just say, you feel validated. Okay, may, meron kang boyfriend, or meron kang husband, you feel validated. Okay, di ba, may, may nag-appreciate sa'yo, di ba, somebody's telling you how, di ba, wonderful you are, how pretty you are, di ba? Peak emotional satisfaction. Saan nakukuha na babae yung peak emotional satisfaction? By production ng peak happiness, at the same time din po, kapag ka, uh, meron ka ring, uh, husband and meron kayong kids which coincide dito sa pangatlo sa family okay nakukuha ng babae yung peak emotional satisfaction hindi po sa career but kapag ka ang kanyang uh, emotional needs are met building a family building a relationship diba yung mga simpleng paglilinis lang po ng mga furniture diba yung pagtanggalan ng alikabok sa cabinet yung pag diba ayos lang ng mga bedsheet ng ng mga bata diba i mean ang mga babae they feel alive when they do those things Okay? Well, just because ang mga baba, ito ah, ito ang nangyayari sa atin right now in our world, okay, they're trying to tell ang mga babae na it's, well, you are at a disadvantage kung ikaw ay babae. Mali po yun. Okay? Huwag mo kayo may kinig doon. Okay? 
just because you have a different role from men in our society, it will never diminish your value bilang isang babae. Okay? So, just because uh, iba ang function ninyo, eh, hindi naman ibig sabihin na wala kang kwenta or weakling ka. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa isang babae na, oy ikaw, mahina ka, weakling ka, hindi pwedeng ganon. To what context? Okay? Kung about sa physical, yes. Okay? About sa emotional, yes. Men are way more stronger. Pero, socially and psychologically wise, ang babae, they are way more dominant. Kaya nga sila yung nagiging nanay eh. Mas matalas yung intuition ng isang babae kesa sa isang lalaki. I have to teach guys paano ba gumagana ang mga tao. Okay? Sa mga babae, maning-mani lang to eh. Di ba? Sa lalaki, I mean, they have no clue on how people work. Social dynamics, social cues. So, I have to teach them these things. Okay? So, sa babae, it's very natural. Those are the many traits na very powerful ay sa babae. Magluluto, di ba? Mas may passion. Uh, I remember there's... Um, There's this couple, si Gordon Ramsay, okay, pati yung asawa niya. And uh, sinasabi ng mga anak nila, okay, kaninong luto ang gusto ninyo? Kay Chef Gordon Ramsay or dun sa inyong mami? Most of the kids, they said, na sa nanay. Okay? I mean, eto, I mean, three-star, five-star chef ba si Gordon Ramsay? I, I, I forgot, okay? But then again, sikat na chef si uh, Gordon Ramsay, but the kids prefer yung luto ng nanay. Why? Because it's being done with love. Which, by the way, ang mga babae very dominant at. And our society is not telling ang mga babae saan kayo magaling. Okay? Ang, ang, ang pinafocus lang sa inyo is uh, kung saan kayo mahina. That's the product of uh, tinatawag na sa Tagalog, feminismo. Okay? Feminismo. So, then again, eh, ang, ang, ang focus doon is ina-highlight yung mga weaknesses ng isang babae and they don't really appreciate kung saan magaling ang isang babae. Ah, oh, dapat ang lalaki at babae must be equal. No, ang mga babae at ang mga lalaki will never be equal. Okay, may times na magaling ang isang babae, kulelat ang lalaki. May times na magaling si lalaki, kulelat si babae. Okay, it's a diba, power exchange. Okay, we are not in competition with each other but we are a complement to one another. Sana po huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. Okay, so then again, uh, a lot of ng mga babae today are being informed na Oh, sige, mag-career ka lang, career ka lang. Oh, sige, kakapurso ng career. Okay? They are unhappy. Okay? Bumababa yung uh, level of satisfaction nila. Because then again, hindi naman nila nature ang mag-provide. Nature ng lalaki ang mag-provide. Okay? Nature ng babae ang mag-nurture and mag-care. Okay? Pag hindi po nakakomply yung need na yon, she can be a multi-millionaire, di ba? pero pag hindi nakakomply yung need na yun, na hindi, hindi, hindi buhay yung pakiramdam niya. Okay? Kaya nga may mga babae po na halimbawa ganito, they may be CEOs, multi-millionaires, tapos the moment na nabuntis sila, the moment na nagkaanak sila, nabuntis, di ba? They quit their jobs. Okay? And they pursue motherhood. Bakit po? Kung talagang mahal nila yung trabaho nila, they would stay, di ba? Pero bakit kaya? It's because again, that's what they truly want. What ang society is telling sa mga babae, they say, no, 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 uh, sacrifice yung, yung uh, childbearing years para sa career. Okay, career ka lang, career ka lang. That's why yung mga babae ngayon, they are unhappy. Now, hindi ko rin naman po sinasabi, okay, at the same time, ha, if you wa you're watching this video, okay, if you're watching this video, hindi ko rin naman po sinasabi na you go out there and then magpabuntis ka na lang din basta. Hindi rin naman po pwedeng ganon. Hindi rin naman po pwede na you will not, di ba, you will not get your feet wet or get your hands dirty. Siyempre, kailangan mo pa rin magbanat ng buto. Okay? But, at the same time, kailangan balansein mo. Because if you're a young na babae, it's easy to attract a guy. As you age, paliet ng paliet ng paliet, yung opportunity mo to lock down a really high-value guy. Because those high-value guys, they earn more money, diba? let's just say, diba? they work on themselves. They don't want ang isang babae na maganda nga, pero parang pabulok na. You don't want that. Okay? Because us men, kami lang nakakadetect niyan. Yung tinatawag na alindog na isang babae, kami lang po nakakadetect niyan. We may say na, oh, si 32 years old na babae, she's still pretty, pero mas maganda yung 22 years old eh. Kami lang pong mga lalaki ang nakakadetect niyan. So, again, I am trying to avoid, di ba, if, if babae man yung nanonood nito, if babae man ang nanonood nito right now, kaya I am trying to, you know, huwag kang mapunta sa sitwasyon na yan. Because again, ang isang babae, eh, the, the longer na you stay in the shelf, the worse your life will be. Okay, American Medical Association states na isang babae, eh, around the ages of 30 to 35, eh, you're entering high-risk pregnancy. 35 and above, extremely high-risk pregnancy. 
Okay, so I don't want yung magkakaroon ka ng some sort of miscarriage or infertility or any kind of complications. I want you to have a safe delivery and safe na, di ba? I mean, safe na family. I mean, happy na family. Okay, but the only way na you could achieve that is kapag ka, di ba, at a young age na inform ka na. Okay? I mean, although, yeah, may mga cases naman na, di ba, na 45, 50, they still have, you know, uh, nakaka-experience pa ng pregnancy, pero uh, napakaliit. Napakaliit ang percentage. Okay? So, at, at a young age pa lang, okay, at a young age pa lang, at least ma-inform na yung ating mga kababaiyan na, hop, up, 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 may limitation sa aking katawan. So, you know, hanggat maaga pa, I must take advantage of it. Okay? Sa lalaki naman, okay, balik tayo sa ating mga kalalakian, you need to work on or you need to have bataan, okay, money and power. Work on these three areas or three needs. Okay? So, you cannot just go out there and then, oh, nakuha mo nga yung girlfriend, nakuha mo nga yung wife, okay, pero you're not working on these three areas. You're not working on power or getting money, getting the bag. No. Ang babae, well, let's just say, kakamuhi ang ka ng babae, she's going to resent you. Okay, she's gonna be kind sa'yo, pero, I mean, ito, Filipina women are naturally kind. They're not gonna say the things na uh, sinasabi ko sa'yo right now because, again, they're kind. Okay? Hindi, hindi bihira maging direct ang babae sa'yo. They're expecting na alam mo to naturally. Okay? And, uh, ang nakakalungkot na part dyan is mostly ng mga viewers sa uh, uh, personality development and self-improvement channel are mga babae. Para sa, ito ah, personality development and self-improvement for men. For men, ang number one viewers are mga babae. Okay? Because sa mga babae, they're interested on how people work. Okay? The only time guys watch videos like mine is by the time na things are screwing up sa relationship nila. Dude, you could have prevented that one in the first place. Okay? If you're just working on these three areas. Okay? Money and power. Okay? So then again, hope you've learned something new. Be happy, be healthy. And most importantly po, to God be all the glory. Ingat kayo lahat. Keep safe.